Traders, what is going on? Excited you guys are here today. Two for three on the day. Yeah, had a loser. Had a loser and uh, let's just have a one-on-one -on -one for a second here. That loser could have been bad. Could have been bad, but ended up cutting it. And you guys know what I'm talking about. When you're on a green streak and you're doing really well and your ego gets in the way, you do not want to take a red trade. You don't think you can. You feel like Superman. You've been you know, green for so long. You're on a green streak. You don't want to take a red trade. And that emotion kind of takes control of your trading. You, you let that emotion drive the trade. You won't accept it. You'll just kind of continue to let it work out. You know, If it does or doesn't add into it, uh, you just break all your rules. But today, I'm not as excited about what I made versus sticking to the rules and actually cutting that loser. Uh, see, most of the time I plan for three ads to get to full position versus just starting with a single entry and then single exit. And today, you know, did the three ads and it wasn't working out. So I ended up cutting right below, you know, my final ad. Uh, and very happy about that looking at the chart. There's obviously some things wrong with the chart that I need to work on. Looking back in hindsight, my ads were a little too close to each other. Uh, but, you know, besides that, I'm happy with the discipline there that I was able to, you know, take that loss. Take the loss like a winner. Because honestly, is a loss a loss if you stick to your plans? And I get criticized a lot on that, FYI. About it looking like I'm not, you know, trading with emotions. Because most people trading out there on YouTube, they just do recaps. They're not doing live trading because they probably look like they're about to go in cardiac arrest while they're trading. But here at Avery Day Trading, the best YouTube day trading channel out there, we have a plan. We predefine our risk. We know what's going to happen before we even get into it. So I know, okay, on that final ad, if it's not working out, I'm either right or I'm right out. And stay with that discipline. And so that's what we did. So what is there to worry about if we have a plan going into the trade? Now, if there was no plan, if I was just like, well, this might work, it might not. Let me just buy here, buy there. Oh, see, I just went in full position. Let me add here, add there. You know, I'm, I'm changing my risk parameters mid-trade like an amateur would do. Doing all these crazy things. Of course, I would be fearful. I'd be scared. My emotions would be taken over because there's no plan. But after you've been doing this for a while, you know your risk parameters. You know what you want to start with uh, size-wise. You know what you want to build to. You know your max risk. You know your profit targets. What I mean, what is there to be afraid of? What, why would emotions get in the way? So, a uh, little tangent there. Three trades today, traders. Let's get into it. I'm going to take a stab at CLVS. Just a quick little stab here. May work, may not. This is the daily I'm looking at. Taking a stab on the long side here. Because this is just now getting above the 50-day 418. I like it. It's not overbought. There's decent volume here. I haven't been in penny land in a while. Just added to it. Watching it very carefully here. It's coming up towards high of day. I'm going to take half right there, 438. Still have half left, CLVS. Half of these on leftovers. Really don't want it under 430. It's coming back down to 430 right now. My average is 426. It's going to see what's going to do above 430. Under 430, I'm out. If it cracks back under 430. Otherwise, I'm going to scale out again, probably about 450. All right, I just took another half, 447. I'm gonna leave a quarter of my shares here and turn my attention elsewhere. The stop here is still under 430 if that gets back under 430. TRIP, panic, panic, panic. Trying to get into this one. Did not get filled on it around 3140. So hopefully we see a little bit more panic here. CLVS, turning my attention back here is touching 430. Gonna be careful here. All right, I'm coming out all the rest. CLVS, 427 there, which was my average. Man, TRIP, man, I'm upset I missed that one. I had an order out, actually, at 3140. Didn't get filled there. Watching trip still, see if we're gonna have our next leg down. See some panic. SSR is turned on here, short sale restriction. Shorts can't short the bid. Let's get under 3150. All right, in at 3141, starter position here, a little bit of a feeler. 
I don't mind building into this under 31. Let's get down to 31. Just add it right there, about 31, 14. We are coming down to 31, probably going to crack under that. There we go, we cracked under that. Just add it again. 31.14 is my average here. Trying to be patient with it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Longs take longer though. Got to be patient with them. Got to be patient with longs. They usually take a little bit longer to work. Under 30.50, I'm out of this. Under 30.50, I am out of this. Not going to accept any more ads. Had my three. Done work, it done work. I'm all out of it right there. 3050. May end up working out, but this one is just getting slammed and slammed and slammed. I was green on it for a little bit right here. You know, this is still selling off, so you know, happy managing risk well on that one. It is what it is. Sometimes they don't work out. Now down in the 30, 18, 30. Whew. That one's tough. But I sized appropriately on it. The mistake I made was I didn't space them out far enough. I have a rule. If I'm read twice on a stock, I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done trading it. Uh, so with TRIP, I do want to take one more stab at this one. If it keeps panicking like this under 30, I do want to take another stab at it. Uh, so we'll see if that can pop under 30. All right. Starting it one more time. 29.90. And take one more stab at this. Then we're going to be done with it. I'm going to space these out a little bit further. These were too close together. So I'm trying to be patient here. Space these out a little bit further. Eh, didn't want it to work out right away like that. Dang it. I wanted to be able to build a position here. All right, just took an ad. Looking good now, fellas. Looking good. All right, I'm going to come out a little bit right there. Coming out a little bit right there just to make sure we're profitable on the trade. Trying to give it a little bit of time. Trying to give it a little bit of time. Really want this up towards like 30 50. There we go. Going to take a partial there at 30.50. I really don't want this back under 30. You know, we broke 30. Uh, don't really want it to crack back under 30. It's kind of the stop on it. I'm thinking 31. I'm thinking 31. What you guys thinking? I'm thinking 31. It's either 31 or under 30, but my average is 29.60, so we're green either way. Trying to be patient here, but I would like this up towards 31. I mean, I like it up towards like 50, but, you know, not trying to be too greedy. 30, 63, 30, 65, 30, 70, 30, 78. Let's get in the 30, 80s. All right, going to lock in another partial up there, about 30, 80. Uh, the rest of these shares just going to let ride out. This comes down under 30, out. If it, uh, you know, wants to continue up towards like 31, 31, 50, let it happen. 31, 14. Come on, baby. 31, 18, 31, 19. About to sell it. About to sell it, guys. Ramping up pretty hard right here. Yeah, I'm out. 31, 32. Out of that one. So guys, the lesson here is don't give up. I mean, I have that rule. If I'm read twice on a stock, I'm done with it. If I would have been read the second time I, you know, I went for it, I wouldn't have traded trip again. What you don't want to do is revenge trade to the point where you're going to blow up your account. So that's why I had that rule in place because emotions will take over. Then you'll just want to, you know, just keep trading and trading and trading it until you blow it up. But, you know, TRIP, I liked it. There was a reason I liked it. it. Was a little early, I guess, on you know the first trade, but then the second time around, it ended up working out very, very nicely and up towards 31.50 now, like I wanted. Uh, but it is what it is, traders. That's going to wrap up the day. 
just going to be TRIP and CLVS today to wrap up the training day. Let me know how you guys did in the comment section below. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you all first thing tomorrow.